Alright guys, uh, welcome to part 2 of level 3 of Christ Airfield. Let's put yourself in fiction. So, starting off part 2 of this level pretty bad. Um, trying to do a little extra range with this pistol, which didn't work very well. And then getting seen while beating down that guy. So right now I'm kind of in the crapper. Um, I pulled out this gun, it was in this special unlock, so I've never seen it before in my life. But, it's pretty good. So, I mean, I've got like, three dudes, like there. Alright, well, one left guy. I mean, there's like four dudes over there, so, uh, using the EMP grenade to its fullest, confused all of them. Sneak up to the side, I was contemplating about just trying to take him out with a flank, but instead I decided to just go around him. Um, I guess if you don't know, if you like, if you're watching this, most people probably watch this because they need help on a certain area. Wait, I can see why, because this level is kind of hard, especially playing on realistic. But if it flashes white, it says warning. That means somebody's looking at you and they possibly have seen you. And it says like danger if they know it's exactly you and like they're gonna come shoot you. So, flash and white, it's okay, like, that's when you're, like, kinda in the middle. Like, you're kinda covered in darkness, but kinda not. It's one of those moments, where it's like a gray zone. Lol, no, but not really. So, those are alright. I usually don't try to hide from those, cause... What are they gonna do? I think I saw something. Comes over there, and then I punch him in the throat twice, and I kill him, and I win. So, finally reached the next objective, Relay Barracks. Which... See like that, see the guy kind of saw me, so he looked a little closer, and when he looked a little closer, he ended up with a 9mm bullet in his forehead. So here, there's two dudes in this building. You could go in that way and kill one instantly, but then the other guy will get scared. So, I kind of, I knew, I would already played this level, so I knew there was going to be this both guys. This guy won't die, even though I just shot him in the head the first time, but apparently not. So here I'm kind of having to hide because I know that that yell alerted the other guards. So I hurry up and pull the lever. Okay, it doesn't go that fast, but I fast forwarded so it would fit in about 10 minutes. So these guys are a wee bit pissed off now, but I really don't care. But I fail again. This is very sloppy shooting on my part and like being sneaky. I'm an amateur third echelon guy. I don't know why I'm trying to... So I just punch the guy in the face twice. So, I'm kinda hiding. I believe there's... three to four guys. And now we're down to like two. I'm almost dead. I mean, this is like borderline dead to you guys. But, I waited out. I can see the guy's like arm kind of through the little gap between the generator on the there and on the wall. So I knew it was coming, but I decided to move up. And of course, there's a ton of to move up. This guy looked at me. FML. But I know since I just saw at my last known point of origin or whatever, the last scene area was back there. So I know that guy's gonna be looking for it, so I can come up and flank him with a knee to the back, grab his throat, and a break neck. Just have to dead. Just have to do things the hard way. And not always. Nice but now, my car is parked just outside the gate off the main oh, block, but weapons there. Stand, you won't get far. What haven't you told me? So now I have to put C4 on this radio dish so they can't communicate or something with something somewhere. I thought your car was clean. It is. Yeah, so I think Grim's playing a trick or something. She seems to be dicking around a lot, but not for me to say, so. Um, 52 meters away, but you can't just run straight there because there's a lot of dudes in the way, like this guy. Okay, well, you can just die there then. Yeah, I'm very paranoid about running out of ammo, so I reload often. See? Of 
See? Told you. I'm telling you. I'm paranoid about reloading. So here, I kind of saw this pipe and I was like, oh. Well, then I failed getting on the pipe like four times. Kept hitting the wrong button. Yeah, I was getting kind of paranoid about this. So, once again, just the distance is just a little too far. But I do get him before he's able to give out my position. Decided to do a 360 for no reason. So, popping domes, splitting wigs, shooting upside down. Oh, not quite. So I go ahead and get. That guy just called me a chicken shit? I got just referred to Sam Fisher's chicken shit. I'm gonna turn your face into chicken shit when I'm done with you. <laughs> no, so. I mean, this guy. Dang. I only missed once. I don't know what this guy's walking towards, but I go ahead and put him out of my misery. So that so that's a good way to go to this radio dish is you sneak around the right side. Satellite dish, I'm sorry. But once you plant the C4 on this thing uh, anytime now now. All the lights turn on and some chick starts yelling about you because like they know you're there. But I got really lucky there, and I threw a grenade, and there's about seven or eight dudes that, like, come up there, and I just dropped, like, five of them in that throw, so that was pretty good. That was pretty lucky on my part. Um, the time when I did this without recording, like, the first playthrough, I ended up having to basically come back the same way I, like, started, like, I just came back the same general direction, and I watch this garbage. God, stupid... Whatever that is, I don't know what that is getting in my way, but um, like you can see all these dead bodies. One, two, three, four, like five, six of them, right here from that grenade. Four of them. I don't know, but uh, kind of go back to the way he came. Human shields are very good in this game. Like they're not like Gears of War where they like crumble and then and they're gone. It's like now it's uh. When it dies, you have to drop it, so make sure you either ditch it or throw it before it dies. Ugh, but... Failure with the light. So, I think there's another... Five to six guys here. One, two, three... Um, yeah, so... There's... Not that many different ways you could take this situation, but shooting him in the face is a good start, and then him in the back of the face is the second part of the good start. And then missing him is not good. So they shot random things at me, which hurts my feelings, but I just shoot him in the head, so it doesn't matter. EMP grenade again, the win. So there's one more guy after this. Yeah, that sucks. Which I didn't see until he almost kills me. And then me and this dude have like an epic gunfight. Like this dude knows exactly when I go to shoot. But I finally get him. And then be careful guys, because there's a dude hiding behind this like door, and if you bash it, you won't kill him because he's just far enough back. And he's pretty sure you're gonna go through there, so I had a little fun and I sit here and I kinda virtually teabag him here, staring at him. Before taking him hostage and then throwing him through the door. Enjoying myself quite nicely. But then you go over this computer monitor, open up this little like security pylon thing. Uh going out the door. Sliding in or then it does doing a cutscene when you're in when you blow everything up and you're behind the car. Slow motion for the win. Um, and then he talks to an old friend. So, thanks for watching part two of mission three, and part will be up soon. Thanks, guys. Vic, it's Sam. I'm in town and could use a little help. Uh, if you are asking for help, we better do this face to face. And what the hell's going on back there? I thought you'd recognize the sound.
Remind you of anything? Yeah. 